Hi, using ChatGPT, you can build an animation in SwiftUI that is similar to the Twitter like. We will take a look at how to give instructions to ChatGPT to build this animation in SwiftUI. So let's begin. To create this animation, you need to give some set of instructions. So here I gave the instructions to ChatGPT to build this animation. The first part is a stroked heart icon, which is this one. And when this icon is tapped, we show a failed version. That is what is described here. So you need to describe all the steps so that ChatGPT understands what you mean. So we have the stroked version. And when this icon is tapped, we show the pink failed version, which uses an SF symbol. And then the second part, after this icon is tapped, and the field version is shown, we should also display eight circles, which are rotated around a central point. And finally, ChatGPT should arrange all the views using a Z stack. In the first part, it created the code that transitions the icon from a stroke state to a failed state. So you can see it uses an if statement and displays the unfailed version of the icon. And when this icon is tapped, it shows the one that has failed over here using a tap gesture. So let's copy the code and come to the Xcode project. Let's add a new file. Let's call it stroke to fail. Then I will select the struct and paste the code I have in the clipboard. Then we will change content view to stroke to fail. So we get an error because it placed the untapped gesture in a wrong position, but we can remove it. To use the tab gesture, we have to place it on the parent container holding all the two icons. So that is this Z stack. So let's put it here. But ChatGPT placed the untapped gesture on the else statement, which is wrong. So that is the first thing. Then we get also all these warnings. Let's click that. This means animation was duplicated in iOS 15. To fix that, we can add another parameter to the animation modifier, which is called value. And the value uses the same state variable that is used for the animation. Here we have the state variable is liked. Let's copy that. And where we have the animation modifier, we put value. Then we paste the state variable. Let's copy that from here. Then we use it for the second animation modifier as well. And the third one. All the errors and the warnings are gone. When we tap on the icon, you can see it transitions from the stroke version to the failed version. So that is the first part. Let's go to the second part. The second part is where we display the splash animation that consists of eight circles, which are rotated around a central point. So here it's stated to add the splash animation you can use for each to loop through the eight different colored circles and then rotate them around the central point using rotation effect. So that is what it did over here in the code. It began by creating this circle and added the splash, but this code is not complete. So after it finished writing the code, I wrote over here, improved the code, and then it gave a revised version of the code, which consists of the same thing. The unfilled, the stroked icon. When this one is tapped, it shows the failed version here with a tap gesture. So here we have the splash consisting of eight circles, which are rotated around a central point. And the colors of the circles are defined in this function. So it uses all these colors for the splash. Let's copy the improved version of the code and come to the Xcode project again. We will select this file, ChatGPT generated Twitter like. Let's remove the struct and place it here. Let's replace content view with ChatGPT generated Twitter like. So I will copy it from here and select this and paste. You can see the same thing happens here as I illustrated previously. It added the tap gesture to the else statement, which is wrong. So 
To fix this, we are going to remove the tap gesture from here. We need to place it on the Z stack holding all the views, which is this one. So let's minimize the code. If I select this, you can see it is the one over here. So let's paste it here and maximize the code. So we need to fix all the warnings in the same way we did in the previous file. Here it is using this animation, which is duplicated in iOS 15. That is the failed version of the hat icon. So it uses this state variable, it's liked. Let's copy that. And where we have the animation modifier, we bring the value parameter. In the else statement, we will use the one which is splashing. So we bring the value parameter and then paste it here and use this one for the circle. Also, here we have the easing function beginning with animation. We don't need that, so we can remove it from here. So once we tap on the icon, you can see it switches from the stroked version to a failed version. So looking at this animation, you can see the hat version is okay, but the splash animation is totally wrong. That is not what we asked from ChatGPT. Let's go back to the prompt again. You can see here we asked when the stroke hat icon is tapped, we show the splash animation that consists of eight circles. But here we have only one circle and this circle doesn't even disappear. We asked ChatGPT to rotate the circles around a central point. You can see here it's used for each to create all the eight circles. But where are they? They are now on the same point. So we see only one circle. To fix this, let's look at one concept from the internet. You can see here I searched for offset rotate. This is a property in CSS. With offset rotate, you can move objects around a central point. So you can see this object is moving along a circular path. In SwiftUI, we can do the same thing by using rotation and offset. When we place the rotation effect modifier above offset, it has normal rotation. Since we want the eight circles to rotate around this circle, we have to move the offset above rotation effect. So let's remove it from here and place it here. And now when we tap on the icon, you can see we show all the eight circles. So let's look at how this works in detail. We use the offset to move the smaller circles around the central point. So how is the central gap determined? It is determined using the coordinates of the offset but we can use only one of them. Let's remove the Y. That is not what we want. So let's change this to, for example, 25. If we tap again, it shows a larger version. So you can use this to increase the size of the gap. For example, if we have 100, we make it very large. Let's leave it just like this to create the Twitter animation. Now this part is done, but when the splash animation is shown, it doesn't disappear. Let's go back to ChatGPT. After the improved version of the code, I also asked the splashing animation should disappear at the end of the animation and then it gave a network error. But since it was able to create this animation, we can now fix this easily. To do that, we have this dispatch queue that displays this animation after two seconds. We can use the same dispatch queue to make the splash animation disappear. You can see here, the state is set to true after two seconds. So let's copy that and then paste it below here. We want the splash animation to disappear after five seconds. So we have to set the state to false here. One thing we can also do is to remove the self because we don't need it. So anywhere we see self, we can remove them. So now if we tap again, you can see it disappears and then shows again. And another thing ChatGPT did is it added this parameter auto reverses and set the condition to true. So we can set auto reverse to false so that once the splash animation 
disappears, it doesn't show again. But instead of setting it to false, we don't even need the repeat forever modifier at all. So we can select it and delete. And then here as well. So if we tap again, it shows the splash and it disappears. And that is how you can use ChatGPT to create an animation in SwiftUI, which is similar to the Twitter-like animation. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.